just about 10 past 6. And um, if you're not aware of it, you're going to miss it. The next turn off is just ahead where my companions are standing. Um, the train tunnel is a little way behind us, not too far. There's a sign on the side of the rocks if you want a marker. So we're going ahead along the way. And the, the Craddock Pass footpath comes down here. And if you don't know about it, you're not going to see it. And then going across the railway line over there. Sorry, there must be another one. We didn't see quite something like this, right? Dropping down here. Trying to find the path. Considering the situation and wondering if we're really on the right track. Yep, it looks like I've got it wrong. Wait, what's this? There is a path going this way. This is definitely a path. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is it. It's turning towards the south, going across the hill. Okay, now you know how not to get lost. It's about 20 past 6. You can see the fog rolling in thick and fast. Uh, it's not really a problem. We know we're on the right track because we've got these white stacks of rocks. Going downhill is also a little bit quicker than going uphill. We should be home in time. It's about 25 to 7. We have a marker along the way, pointing the way up Craddock Pass. It says 3.3 kilometers. There's a stone marker in the background as well. And you can see we've got fog all around. It's like we're on a little island in the clouds. It's about, well, still just about 25 to 7, and we can see the Montague Pass down below towards the right hand side of the track as we're going downhill. There's another white stone marker. the way up the hill from which we've come. And I can hear the vehicles on that Nico Pass in the background. A little bit higher up in the fog. It's about 22.7. There's another pile of rocks, and we're just following the tracks, but um, looks like we're dropping below the clouds now. And you can see the town in the background, perhaps, below the cloud line. And Montague Pass is still on the right-hand side. Okay, carrying on. Still about 22.7. We've just reached another marker pointing up the trail and it's been damaged in the recent fires but it used to say something to the effect of if you haven't reached this point by two o'clock in the afternoon it's too late to continue for your own safety we urge you to turn back 
And that is pretty good advice. And that's the trail we've come. It's about quarter to seven. There's another stone marker. I haven't been recording these stone markers uh, very regularly. So there are quite a few that I've missed because you just follow the path. It's pretty straightforward. Moving along. Um, from this point, you can actually see the, or I can see the toll house in the middle of the screen. Uh, it's very close to where we started this afternoon. So we might make it before sundown. And carrying on. Okay, it's about seven o'clock and we've got some route markers on the way here we have bushbuck trail going to the right and craddock pass and the power trail left and right we've come down on the craddock pass trail there it is in the background and the white pile of rocks Bushbuck and Power Trail going off that way, but we want to go down there, apparently, and across the stream so we can get to the toll house, where it should be somewhere up on those hills over there. There's also another marker here. Craddock Pass, 5.9 kilometers going up to the top. So 5.9 minus 3.3 .3 is about 2.6 kilometers between the two markers that I've recorded. Yeah, it's about 5 past 7. And this is the way across the river. I'm already on the other side. I forgot to take a photo of her. Um, a scene from the, the starting side. See so you come down behind that tree, come down from the left hand side, and then across this big rock right here in front, and over here. Yep, nope, you can't see the path from here. But there it goes. And then up the hill over there. The rocks might be dry and solid, but these reeds are quite slippery. Don't slip on them. Okay, there we go. It's going to be a steep uphill, I suspect. It's about quarter past seven. This is the last stretch towards the, the old toll house. And our friendly chauffeur has just arrived. So, this is about the end of a very pleasant little afternoon hike. I think in future I'll definitely recommend coming down the path directly from the toll house. It is a bit clearer than the one that we started off on. Sadly, the old toll house suffered substantial damage during the recent fires in October. But I believe there are some, some groups who are working on restoring it. We 
car back on the Montague Pulse Road. And that's the way we've come. Some signage, storage, and friendly safari chat.